The raven is a cold gangster, man. It was some real <laughs> shit. Moms and them grooms, you right. We got to give moms a double shout out. You did that, mom. Uh huh. In a real way. Shout out to Veronica. Veronica, hey, I want to come over and pick you up, all right? <laughs> Take you out on a little date. Have a oh, good time, yeah. you know, me and you, all right? Yeah. Go out and watch a movie. Get some ice cream. Get us some ice cream or something. Yeah. Right in my low rider. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Host. And today I got a very, very special guest. Yes, sir. The one and only, the hot, the beautiful, the sexy, Raven Felix in the house. <laughs> What's up with you, girl? Not much. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Wow. You deserve it. Thanks. I'm a fan. I've been watching you on videos and seeing you do your thing with your girls. and. Mm -hmm. Your rap style is dope as fuck, first of all, let me say that. Thank you, wow. That's a, quite a compliment. No, for real, when did you de develop that rap style like that? Because it's yours. When did I develop it? Yeah. Over like the past two years, I've been working really hard on it. I've been doing music my whole entire life, but rapping is something that I felt I really wanted to do. I pursued it, and now I work every single day to make it better and better. For real? Mm-hmm. How old were you when you started? I think like 16 and a half, maybe 16. I, it was like right uh, right after I dropped out of school, so. And girls wasn't doing this where you live at. You were like the only one doing it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And who inspired you to do it? Um, I mean, when I was younger, it was, I wasn't allowed to listen to rap music, really. <laughs> <laughs> it was like not something, my mom was very into like, um, 80s hair metal and like punk rock and stuff like that. Did so. she play uh, Who's Gonna Take You Home Tonight? <laughs> probably, that's probably Can't something go that I heard. Wrong, thinking. Sing a little, I love when you sing. Really, <laughs> I love it. No, and then like when I got into ninth grade, then I kind of like discovered rap music. Um, but I think like the first thing I ever heard was like on the radio, and that was like Nicki and Lil Wayne, and I. I just remember hearing Nikki and being like, oh my God, like I want to be a girl that's like that powerful and that dope, you know? So that was like, and then it just, you know, fueled me to go farther and deeper into the culture and like want to learn as much as possible. Where do you get your ideas for your videos? Your videos are dope. Thank you. And you look real cute and sexy in the videos. Thank you. For real though. <laughs> no, I just, I wanted to like just have them be super natural. Like, like the video for Bad Little Bitch is like an actual party that I threw and it was like just something that I wanted. I want every video to like really represent like what girls or people that are my age in the Valley are doing, so. So you from California? I'm from California, proud. California knows how to party. Yeah, mm-hmm. California. The Great One Eight. Knows how to party. <laughs> the Great One Eight, now that's the gangsta. The Great One Eight, yeah. Hey, she got flavor, cause don't get it <laughs> fucked up, mate. <laughs> There's nobody like really representing that side of LA and it's like, it's such a side of LA that really exists and, and has a huge culture behind it, you know? So I just, I want that to be like heard and represented. You know, when we was young, when I was young, that was like Valley Girls, right? Mm -hmm. And they had a song called, she's a valley girl and there's no cure for sure. Mm -hmm. She's a valley girl. <laughs> That's what Valley Girls were, you yeah. know what I mean? But now you the new version of Valley Girl, you're not that. No. No, no I'm no. trying I'm trying to abolish the the uh, the typical like like stereotype of like Valley Girls. What what high school you went to? Uh, I went to Hollywood High for like a year and then I went to Verdugo um, in the Valley and I dropped out in 10th grade. So you didn't go to high school? Yeah, I didn't even go to high school. Maybe for like two years. And I'm then like, I was you, out. when a motherfucker drop out, they normally drop out. Oh, I dropped out in the twelfth grade right before graduation. No, I was like, you like tenth grade, you was one foot in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try this high school shit. Now this shit ain't for me. Yeah, Fuck, that was literally verbatim what happened. Yeah, pretty much. No, I'm gonna try this shit out. I'm gonna try it out. Mm -hmm. Third date, mm -mm, I ain't going back no more. Not mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So your music is based on mixtapes, right? 
Yeah, I have so, one mixtape out of California. That's the only one you have out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker First doing one. well. It's doing good. Yeah, it's doing pretty it's good. It's doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. You hear me? It's, it's fly to see a female representing California, Southern California, mm-hmm. and not from this side, the 213. The, mm-hmm. But to give the valley that, that look that it deserves, because the valley has always been a fly spot. It's always been the shit. Yeah. So for you to tap into it and expose the rest of the world to it is beautiful. So I really want to be a part of helping you get it all the way out there. That's the reason why I rapped on that song with mm-hmm. you. You know, when they was like, you know, we we got a song from Raven Phillips. I'm like, I know who she is. Really? Yeah, I know exactly. Hell yeah. Wow, yeah. Because I, I fuck with, with hip hop. and I got a real good ear to what's going on. And I got people around me who keep me hip mm-hmm. to what I need to be hip to. Yeah. Do you work with one producer or do you have a, a different variety of producers? I have like Tech, which is my producer for like most of my stuff. Um, but I, I mean, I'm op- I love new anything. They're, the first song, California, is produced by my friend Prolific Seven, and he's from the Valley. I grew up with him and went to middle school with him and like grew up with him and shit. And I, you know, I think like that's the best when you have people that want to be involved that are like from where you're from. But yeah. Do your Do your boyfriend rap? Do my boyfriend rap? No. <laughs> I don't got a boyfriend. That's, see, that's how you ask a girl that she got a boyfriend. Yeah. A lot of these suckers don't know how to ask a woman if she got a man in her life. They they just don't know how to do it. I had yeah. to show them another way, a slick mm-hmm. way of doing it. That yeah. was very slick. You gotta teach him. You gotta teach him, Snoop. Come on. You see, teach him. The, the way she answered it was, no. My, he said, <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Half of America jumped through that screen like, oh, we got action. <laughs> Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have four brothers and a sister. You the oldest? I am the middle child. Mm. Mm-hmm. Was you a good kid growing up or were you a bad girl? I was a horrible child. <laughs> Congratulations, you won today's contest. Click here for your free gift. That's for being a bad girl. Mm-hmm. That is, that's what happened. You win a contest. <laughs> and this is the contest winning. I'm here with Snoop Dogg, that's what happened. <laughs> Hi, this is Sexy Storm, and um, we're going to report from the GGN. Today is super hot, so hot. So I suggest you guys should wear, for guys, maybe wear Speedos to go out. For girls, bikinis. And when it's getting even hotter, you can just wear nothing. I think maybe it's okay in LA, right? <laughs> I feel so dumb right now. As the preacher takes the pulpit, fix your coat, prepare for 40 below spit. Seven days of heaven's ways and hell's hangups. Chris and Ryan again, and we wishing anybody who isn't wishing us well bankrupt. A L and whatever else ain't up. As far as me, I'm still caught up in all the gun shit. Still calling my bullets expendables, cause it's hard to believe I can fit all of them boys in one clip. For many years, I've always felt like painting was something that I wanted to do, but I just never had time to do it. Sometimes the music and my life don't explain exactly what I'm going through. So it's another piece to the puzzle. It's like a piece of Snoop that we can take with us forever. Who are your dream artists that you would like to collaborate with? Uh, well, I knocked out like the number one dream, which was Snoop Dogg. So that was definitely wow, on the top of the list. <laughs> how did you get that done? I have no idea, actually. No, but that <laughs> no, was. No, for real though. Know, did you even know how that happened? No. Well, I, I knew. I mean, I, I knew that it, like why it came together, and obviously the six in the morning thing. Even though like I grew up on punk rock and '80s hair metal, like. My mom still listened to Snoop Dogg, and I still listened to Snoop Dogg growing up. So it's like, for me to like get that feature was just, oh my god, insane. Did you get the news, or did you hear the song first? I heard the song first. They just kind of played it. And I was like, sitting there, and you are the first voice on the track, singing, saying California, and then saying my name, which I was like, holy shit. Yeah, that means you made it. Yeah. And then I showed it to my grandma and my family, and everybody commented. Granny knew who I was? Uh, my grandmother cried. What? <laughs> my grandmother cried. And Granny? And my cousins and uncles cried. Like, were in fucking tears. And, like, finally were like, you made it, you have a 
song with Snoop Dogg. Like you made it, really? Yeah, you made it. That's it. Right? That's the... Nobody <laughs> believed in my. Yeah. My, my grandbaby with me, and, and, and mm-hmm. she she made yeah made it now. Yeah, Raymond. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It was amazing. Ah. No, it was it was truly a, a prolific experience. So, so what's gonna happen when we do the video and I, I walk in your trailer and give moms a big hug and be like My mom will have a heart attack. For real? She'll commence to have a heart attack, yeah. I wanna do that. Yeah, you should. Yeah, my mom will she'll you know Don't tell her you're shooting a Snoop Dogg video, just say we're shooting a video today, mom. Yeah, yeah, I should and just like have her like in there. Yeah, and That'd then let perfect. me know be like she here now. Like, Surprise right, cool. her. Be like, our room service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's up, moms? It's me. Mm-hmm. How you been? Mm-hmm. Long time no see. You should speak, <laughs> yeah, speak game with my mom. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Hit her with the long time no see. Hit her with the does your boyfriend rap line, and then she'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> she'll be like, no, I don't have a boyfriend. It'll be great. <laughs> I got this thing called uh, Inside the Smoker Studio, Everyday People. Everyday things. I'm going to ask you some questions. You answer to the best of your ability. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? Um, why do I have to pee so bad? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, because I drink a lot of water. But no, I the first thing I think in the morning is, all right, I got to te- check my phone because I don't have Twitter notifications on my phone anymore, so I have to check Twitter. That's probably the first thing. Check Twitter. Hot or cold? Cold. Favorite pair of shoes all time? My black and white skate highs fans. Favorite sports team? The Packers. Weekends or weekdays? Uh, weekends. Favorite rock band? Oh, favorite rock band. Is Sublime considered, is considered a rock band? Hell yeah, they from yeah. the LBC. Yep. What that East Side LBC like? They from the hood. Yep. Sublime is my all-time favorite in the world. They from Long Beach, baby. Yep. Believe that. They popped on the scene around the same time I did. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was thinking of that the other day. I was like, that's amazing. Them was the homies for real though. You really you did you ever like sit down with Bradley? We used to smoke with them. Them was the pop my home. That's boy. the most beautiful. I got a song with them. You do I've never heard yeah. that. Oh wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I went and see I saw Sublime at, with Rome at Made in America, mm-hmm. which is really cool. But I, I always wish I could have seen Bradley because I have all of his, like, every CD Sublime ever made, like, all their live shows yeah, recorded. Yeah, you was a little bitty girl when they was making records. I probably wasn't even, like, I was, like, 95. Like, when did Bradley pass away? 95, right? Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. If you were stuck on the island for a whole year and could only listen to three albums, what would they be? Number one would be Sublime's first album. Uh, two... Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style, obviously. I think you should always have that. (laughs) And um, three would be actually because it's my favorite album to listen to, like all the way through, is YG's brand new album. So I think it's absolutely well done. Yeah, it's gangsta. Mm -hmm. You keeping it one hundred? Mm-hmm. We fuck with you. (laughs) (laughs) This shit right here is called finish the sentence. I'm gonna start it. You finish it. I always wake up. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd want to work with. Um, I'm gonna keep with the LBC thing, Bradley Noel. Dope. Mm-hmm. If I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd want to see. Um, Jimi Hendrix. I love. That's, That's dope. Be That's super dope. Mm-hmm. I look for blank in a man. Um, confidence. If I wasn't a dope rapper, I'd be. Wow, what would I be? This is this is plan A through Z, so <laughs> no. Um, I would wanna be a substance abuse counselor, which is really ironic because now I smoke weed all the time, but a substance <laughs> abuse counselor. I've never heard nobody say some shit like that, that No, because it's like <laughs> that does as many substances as no, you do. Because, um, like how the fuck you know, could you say that? Like that's like me saying, you know, I wanna be a weed counselor to stop people from smoking weed. I don't think, which is strange, because I don't think weed is like considered really like anything bad, but I grew up with a family that was very involved in like really hardcore drugs. Yeah, and alcohol and drugs. Yeah, and alcohol. Yeah. So I I just, 
I'm very like you're passionate about the the, the help yeah and trying to and, and to be able to discover a, a solution yeah to that a solution I'm gonna be like a I'm gonna be a cure yeah. no but I think like weed isn't even I, my grandfather smokes weed all day every day so I grew up around marijuana and like when I was like, you know, you get to an age and then my mom smokes weed every day, like she uses the G pens, that one right there. For real? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, my mom, like, she loves that thing. She loves that thing. She stole it from me, it was mine first. And she was like, I need this. And I was like, all right, mom. We're gonna get you and mama some new G pens. We can't have y'all fighting over the G pens. Yeah, pen, seriously, we're fighting. Me and my mom fight over G pens no, and, no. and weed. Like, I'm like, mom, like, my mom's like, you stole my weed. And I'm like, I didn't steal your like, don't worry about it. And then she'll be like, yeah. That's a great relationship right there. Mom, you stole my weed. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I, I was didn't steal fortunate. shit. I just took a couple of hits off the motherfucking blood. I ain't took it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because she has, like, her, like, sativa, and then she has, like, her indica stash. And I like sativa, so I always, like, take the sativa. And... Why do girls like sativa more than indica? Lighter it's lighter, day. and I like to be able to like do, oh, yeah, I like to be able to like do stuff during the day and be like high at the same time. That's what indica does for me. Really? Yeah. I think everybody has different reactions. But different you're, tolerance, you're... that's that word, tolerance. Mm -hmm. Your tolerance level for sativa is higher than your tolerance level is for indica. Yeah, that's why I mean, you know. I have a tolerance level of multitude <laughs> and magnitude. Uh -huh which brings altitude and leads forth to a great attitude. Wow. Raven, I'm so glad you came by the GGN. I'm so glad. I'm super Because good. you are the artist that we feel like we made this show for, for people like yourselves who, who doing the good thing and making it happen and popping off on your own and you ain't got no big time label pushing you, but mm -hmm. you're doing your shit and you're making noise and you're making it feel good and sound good and it look good. So. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want to come on to GGN to get off your expression and let people know what you're doing, yeah. the door is open for you, baby. Thank you so much, Snoop. In a real way. So what, what, what can we expect from you, and where can people reach you at if they want to get in touch with you? Uh, my Twitter is just at Raven Felix. My Instagram is Rave Da Queen. Uh, queen spelled with two threes instead of two E's. And uh, hopefully, you know, Keep putting out music every chance I get. California 2 should be coming sometime. She said the great 1-8, huh? The great 1-8, yeah. Mm. She's a valley girl. I'm a valley girl. And there's no cure for sure. <laughs> Church. Preach. Tabernacle.